Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do bridge skip. This is a pretty tricky skip. I rate it 4 out of 5 I think in my uh, skip spreadsheet out of uh, 5 stars of difficulty. Um, I might just go and change that to 5 actually, but basically it's the first roadblock in running this game when you first start out. Um, so if you don't know what it is, here's the bridge. We have to get over it. Um, it's a pretty complex set of high jump uh, inputs. Once you get used to it, once you drill it into your fingers, it's not that bad, but it is pretty timing specific. Um, okay, so I guess I'll explain some of the aerial movement behind it, just in case you aren't familiar. You can just skip ahead, I'll probably timestamp it in the description. Okay, so 2B has two jumps, you already know that much. Um, what you can do in midair, and what you often see runners do, is heavy attacking. And that gets us a lot more height. Now, what I'm using right now is weapon set 2. And by default, at the start of the game, you have a large sword in light slot. And, a, uh, yeah, a large sword in light slot, and small sword in the heavy slot. Small sword also lets us damage glitch, which is very important in combat. And it lets us dash swing too. So... This is the set we're using for most of the run. Uh, for this jump, uh, we can start off with a light. Uh, for most of the high jumps in the game, you're probably going to be starting off with a lift. Now, a lift is just uh, combining a jump and a heavy. It only uses up your jump. Uh, just one jump, and you can only do a lift on the first jump after leaving the ground. So. Uh, let's say I walk off this set of girders. I can still lift after I walk off, but I can't lift on the second jump. I can lift, heavy, jump, heavy. Um, so, outside of double lifts, which is a new technique on its own, uh, you can only do one lift. So, if we start out with a lift, heavy, jump, heavy. We're nowhere near the top. What we can do to get some more height is delay the heavy component of the lift. So that just means uh, jumping and then a bit later pressing the heavy input. God, I wish this fence weren't here. Um, yeah, if you delay it too much, you'll just do a jump and heavy. But uh, you can get some, some huge extra height by doing that. And then you can also heavy afterwards. So, lift, heavy, jump, heavy. Now you don't need to hold down the jump button, you can just go jump heavy. That one didn't work. Jump heavy, and it'll do the same lift. Holding jump actually has no difference there. So anyway. If you stand here, you get a good indicator of height. Uh, a good delayed lift will put 2B's head about where that second set of lines are coming out from the bridge. About that high. So you'll probably want to sit here for like, I don't know, 10-15 minutes just walking up to the bridge and trying to get the best delayed lift you can. Drilling in this muscle memory is really important for consistency on bridge skip. You can get stuck here for quite a while if you can't do a good delayed lift. Now some of the other moves that we use in the high jump combo are a light attack with the large sword. Um, if you do two light attacks in one aerial combo, you can only do the second light attack if 2B is not falling. So that's, that's very important because a lot of players get stuck here. You would do a lift, light attack, heavy attack, and then you can't do the light attack while she's falling. So lift, light attack, heavy attack, jump. And you want to do the light attack not too early and not too late. If it's too early, you don't get enough height. And if it's too late, you just flat out won't be able to do a light attack. So that bit's very important. It's quite a specific timing you need there. Um, so the full combo here is delayed lift, light, heavy jump, light, heavy jump. And the reason we only do so many lights and so many heavies is because each jump refreshes both our light and our heavy. We get one more use. 
So the lift counts as a jump. Light, heavy, jump, light, heavy. And then we can't jump anymore, so we can't refresh them. And then the last move that we do on the bridge skip is a plunge. And that's done by dashing and then heavying shortly after in midair. You'll notice it's the same inputs as the damage glitch. And you can even delay it just like you can with the damage glitch, just by doing it at the end of a dash. And so we usually use this for horizontal movement as it's the fastest movement we have access to if it's done from a height. But here we use it to gain that last little bit of height we need to get on top of the bridge. So delayed lift, light, heavy jump, light, heavy plunge. So a few of the things that people often have trouble with are, well, I guess the first most important one to check out if you're having trouble getting the height you need is check your FPS. So frame rate in this game heavily affects physics. Um, it's a very, very important to have a solid frame rate if you can manage it. You should go into your settings. Uh, where are they even? Bloody moon runes. All right, off low. See all these? I've got them as low as I can put them. That's super important. I have a pretty beefy system, but this game is poorly optimized on PC. So you want as much frame rate as possible up to the cap of 60. If you're below like 50, 45, you might find it hard to do this ever, really. Even a good player will struggle. Um, I'm sorry to say, but if you can't get that frame rate, then you're probably gonna need to upgrade your computer to run the game or just deal with it, I guess. One other thing you can do, which is seen as a noob strat, but it's really, you should be doing this until you can get it consistently, is go into weapon set one and swap out the heavy slot or bare fist. It's really important. Yeah, you can also drop inputs if you have a bad frame rate. So the only frames that accept your input are the ones that are actually rendered. Um, it's really important that you do this in weapon set one. So this is like turning bridge skip from like a four out of five or five out of five in difficulty down to like a two out of five, really. You put bare fists in the heavy slot of weapon set one. You keep weapon set two how it is swap to weapon set 1 in game. So it's the same exact combo except you do the lift with weapon set 1 then swap to weapon set 2 for the rest of it. So bare fist lift and you'll notice this gets a lot more height than the SS one, the short sword one, small sword. Especially if you delay it, it is huge. It's also slightly slower. But the main time loss here comes from swapping your sets obviously. So anyway, um, the hardest thing about doing it this way is managing the weapon swap after the lift if you're not used to it. I highly recommend having weapon swap on something like D-pad up which is what I use just so you can access it uh, very easily. So lift, that's not a lift. See there I, I delayed the lift too much and that's what it looks like. That's a mid-air heavy with bare fist doesn't do anything for us. So lift, swap, light, heavy jump, light, heavy plunge at the end. And you can see I'm so much higher before the plunge. I barely even need the plunge. But yeah, I don't think you even need to delay the lift if you're using bare fists. So it might help a lot of people. Um, I think that's about it for the high jump. I'll just go ahead and swap this back now. So I can show you the rest. It's that. No, it's this. What am I doing? That's not right. <laughs> Spaghetti tutorials. All right. Um. So, yeah, that's it for the high jump. Really, just keep on going at it. Um. If you really think you're doing something extremely wrong and not just optimizing the timing of your inputs, mainly the, the light attack after the second jump, that's the most important one. Um, 
If you think you're doing something fundamentally wrong, then contact us on the Discord and we can help you out. Um, don't feel bad if you can't get it, even after like half an hour, an hour. It does take a while. It is really hard at first. The runners make it look so easy. Um, Alright. Please don't fall. So once you're up here, you land safely, you don't fall off, like Canaris is doing right now. Kill me. Once you're up here, there are a few ways to go about crossing the gap. It's not super important early on, because you have plenty of time save elsewhere. Ah, oh. Don't fall off like I just did. Okay. So you can... I might just do the combo down here. Oh my god, man. Spaghetti tutorials. So once you're up here, pretend I'm on top of the bridge. You can dash, jump, jump, weapon swap, and plunge. That's that's probably the fastest way of getting across the gap. Um, because that, that large sword plunge after the weapon swap, this one, that puts you down to the ground very quickly, and that's where you want to be on the other side. Um... A really easy alternative to that is just dash off the top of the bridge, jump, jump, dash, and you can do a light attack or hold jump and turn it into a pod spin, which is where you just attack while you're gliding with the pod. I'm sure you know how to do that. Jump, jump. Really easy. Um, so yeah, what I do in my range is just dash, dash, jump, jump and then large sword plunge. What you can also do is swap to weapon set one as soon as you get on top of the bridge and hold down light attack, which does that long spinny move, which actually carries you quite quite a distance in mid air without dropping your height, which is super important. And then jump, jump, dash or plunge, whatever you prefer. The plunge is obviously quicker, but just do what you can manage. Uh, try to get as consistent as possible. I really do recommend using the bare fist to start with. Don't feel bad about it. Here's a demonstration of the thing that I do. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically all there is to bridge skip. Oh, and I also recommend getting the practice tool, which I'll link in the description. It's also on speedrun.com uh, resources for this game. Super duper helpful. You can just teleport right back to the bridge. You can go to Crane, you could go to Copied City Clip. For practice, oh well, Copied City Clip's not there yet, but for practice it's super duper useful and I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, I think that's about there is for Bridge. Game's freaking out right now. Bridge! So yeah. Again, if you have any questions at all, just hit us up on Discord. Super helpful, there is always someone there to help you. And uh, good luck with Bridge Skip. Bye.